So don't see your your competitors as, as competitors. Like look at them as friends, right? Someone you can really turn to when you have issues in your own business. Hey, I'm doing something and it's not working for me or it's not working for one of my clients. What do you do in this case? Like what programs do you use? What systems do you use? What processes do you use? And let them help you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and like you said, like her, maybe there's some people in her network that will never be for her and they might be better for me. Or maybe there's some people in my network that might not be a good fit for me that are a better fit for her. So we can also refer each other business. Um, so that also, that's a huge thing in terms of growth. What's up, my soul sister? Welcome to the Happy, Purposeful, and Free Podcast, where we are all about going after our dreams, living aligned with our soul's purpose, and playing all out. I'm your guide, Katrina Lully, life and biz mentor, entrepreneur, mom of four, wife, and big kid at heart. This is where you will get the realest of the real from me and our special guests about living a life with passion, alignment, and what's true for you. We don't do the small talk around here. We are all about being who we are, sharing the tools, tips, all the behind the scenes and inspiring stories that empower you to boldly pursue your life. I will share all the goods on life, business and relationships so that you can start living your happy, purposeful and free. Let's do this thing together. so excited to have you back for today's episode. So happy and excited to have Mariana on the podcast today. She is a mom of three from New Jersey, started her business online last October and within months was able to replace her nine to five income and now has that work-life balance she's always dreamed of. For years while working in corporate, she always knew there was something more out there for her and just never knew what. I know that many of you can relate to that. When COVID hit and she lost her job, she took that time to invest in herself and do what she always longed for. This is why I knew that Mariana had to be on the podcast today because she just went after it and she's created such an amazing community already. And I know that you will be able to relate. She's one of the most relatable people that I've come across. So Mariana, thank you so, so much for coming on today's show. Thank you so much for having me. This is really excited. I've wanted to come on here for a while and I'm like, yay, she asked me to come on. <laughs> so That's definitely awesome. happy to be here. Um, and yes, you're hundred percent right. I longed for years, 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 years um, to basically go out there and be my own boss and do something where I could have that work-life balance and, you know, something always just held me back. Right. Um, and I just dreamed of it. And I'm like, I know there's something out there for me. So I did take that opportunity and I found it, you know? Obviously, it's still tweaking as I'm growing because that happens too, right? Uh, but I'm super happy that I finally, finally found it. And you're right, investing in yourself is 100% a reason why, you know, that happened to begin with. Um, but like a little bit about me really quick, just to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Mariana Lalek. Um, I am a mom of three from New Jersey, just like you mentioned. And I have two aspects of my business. Um, so one is supporting online coaches as an online business manager. I help them with the back end, run the back end of their business so they can stay on the front end, right? Um, in their coaching programs, on their Zooms, on their IGTVs, in their stories and all that fun stuff. And I run the back end so their business runs smoothly and so they grow as coaches. Um, and then I have my own coaching business on the side where I help mompreneurs who are just like me um, back a couple of months ago who always longed and had that dream for becoming a business owner themselves. I help them get their ideas in order and basically help them put it together gain clarity in it and get unstuck and move forward to create their own business as well. Mm, I love that you do that so, so much because we know that we're not meant to do business alone. We're not meant to do life alone. And so to have somebody who can literally guide them right there and take them through and who you're so close to where they're at right now, meaning it wasn't that long ago that you were in that spot. And I think that right there is so, so incredibly value and has you standing out because you're in that space that or you're so much more relatable. 
Yeah, a hundred percent. And, you know, people see that and they're like, wow, like, you know, I just saw you start your business and I'm seeing you grow and the growth has been amazing. And I'm like, wow, like people are noticing this, like, this is kind of cool, you know? (laughs) Um, So to see that, you know, maybe um, it might not be showing itself in a certain way. um, They are watching, right? They're watching what you're doing and you are making an impact on that sort of back end side where you don't even realize sometimes, right? You don't realize who's watching you and who's paying attention and who's listening to everything you say. And it's so cool to know that I am impacting the lives of mompreneurs like I was, um, you know, in the earlier stages. Yeah, I think it's, I love that so much. And it is really cool when you, when somebody let you, especially when you're like thinking nobody is watching, mm-hmm. because it's easy to go into that space of, is this working? You know, where was it like that for you? Let's before we go there, tell tell us where you started because you didn't start here. You had started dabbling. Were you in network marketing first? Is that what kind of dipped your toes in? Okay. Tell us like how the pro the process went for you. So I was in network marketing and I I was in a company that pretty much promoted um, you know, in-person parties. Obviously, when COVID hit, that sort of went right out the window. (laughs) And I'm like, how am I going to make this grow without in-person parties? Like, that's what I know. That's what I built my initial business on. Um, So I said, I want to learn how to do it online. I know there's a way. I know there's attraction marketing. I don't know much about it, but I've heard about it. Um, So I'm going to go out and teach myself uh, when I had that downtime. And I went out on Facebook and I searched things and I joined a few groups and I came across Jillian Murphy, who is our coach. Um, And I she attracted me to her, right? (laughs) With all the value she was giving online. And I made the jump, uh, maybe about two months later after meeting her into investing in my very first coaching program, which was scary, right? Like I didn't have that income coming in yet. I just lost a job in COVID. Um, I'm like, I I felt like I was taking this massive risk. But in my heart, I knew that that's what I needed to do, right? To get me past that that hump. But what I didn't know is that I would come out with a business (laughs) and it wasn't network marketing. (laughs) That's what I didn't know. So I feel like it almost fell into my lap, like accidentally, I say. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. That's usually how it works, right? Is it's like accidental. We, especially those of us who started out in network marketing, we're like, you have that dream of having your own business. But what I love is like, that's like the the gateway drug, right? The gateway Mm -hmm. drug into it. And then you, you fall into that and you took that chance on yourself and you invested in yourself. Tell us a little bit more about why, how did you know? Because so many people will say, I can't do it. I don't have the money and I don't know what I want to do yet. Like, I don't know, like all of the fears that come up, what helped you like truly move past that? So I'll be honest with you. Um, I dragged one of my friends into it with me. <laughs> <laughs> even better. Was, even better. She was on my network marketing team, and I'm like, "Come on, there's another way." And she was pushing me to try to do parties. Still, I'm like, "Come on, that's the old way. Like, that's like the oldest, non-existent thing to do. You know, nobody wants those anymore. Nobody wants you like in their DMs, cold messaging them anymore. Like, I knew that. Like, the inside of me knew that. You know." Um, so I think that's one thing was like really paying attention to that, right? Like that was the way to do network marketing, maybe like 10 years ago or even five years ago, but now people get grossed out by it, right? When they, someone flies into their DM, but they're like, come to an online party. Like, no, I don't need anything. (laughs) You don't even know anything about me. Why would I come to your online party? Um, so I did recognize that. So that was step number one. And step number two was I knew that there were other ways out there. Um, And then third was me convincing my friend (laughs) that there were other ways. So I almost felt more comfortable investing when I knew I had a friend by my side making that jump with me. Um, It is scary. Like, it's scary doing it with a friend, never mind alone, right? So I feel like having that companion with me, we're like, all right, we're in this together. We're doing this together. We're investing our money together. If we fail, we both fail together. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and that's it. And you know what? It turned out to be a blast. Like we had so much fun. So like, you know, obviously while everyone was not hanging out at that time and being afraid to hang out with people, we're such close friends. Like we kept each other busy that whole, you know, like nine months at home in each other's houses, like working on our businesses, <laughs> like doing online uh, marketing together. Right. And we started Facebook groups and communities um, and we really got into it. And I think that was like the biggest thing is having a person like having a community, having someone there with you that understands what you're trying to do and understands your process. Because if you are trying to do this and you have people that are surrounding you, let's say your family, friends, 
whatever the case is, other coworkers that don't understand what you're doing, it's really hard. And they just, they honestly just don't get it, right? No. And yeah. sometimes like, you know, in the beginning, we're offended by that. We're like, well, like they're not supporting us. Like my husband's not supporting me. My best friend's not supporting me. My, you know, I don't get it. They don't like my posts. They don't comment. They don't whatever. And it's <laughs> in the beginning, like I said, you get offended. You're like, wow, like that's rude. Like they're not supporting me. <laughs> but then you come to realize they just really don't get it. You know, like just like my husband comes home, my husband's a tile guy. He comes home and he starts talking construction lingo. Like, I don't get it and I don't care. (laughs) So I tried to put myself in in that place and say, okay, like this is a space that he doesn't understand. But you know what? My friend does and we're doing this together. So that's okay. You know, Um, Mm -hmm. so I think it's important surrounding yourself with the people that get you. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It is so, so important. And it's so true. Like, you live in an, I don't know about the area you live in, but the area that I live in that I have found and know, and my friends, like the people around me that they don't get it, they're not in this space. And so you have to go find those people and they're usually online and then create that community online and find those people who do get it. And it's important to have them surrounding you because in those moments you want to give up. You're like, they're like, no, 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 we're doing this. Let's go, girl. Like they they help pull you up. They call you up with love. And it's just a different vibe. And it's nothing against the people, the family and friends who don't get it. They're, they're not in that space. But when you're going to start your own business, it's not easy. Mm-hmm. It is not easy. What are some of the biggest roadblocks that you ran into either within internally or um, externally? Um, So it's funny that you say that because I feel like even as you grow and even let's say like when you get to my point, let's say seven, eight months later, there's still those roadblocks. And I feel like those roadblocks never end and they actually become bigger, right? <laughs> like I just had a meltdown like last week, major, major meltdown, right? Um, and it's just gonna happen. Every time you reach a certain threshold, you have to make big decisions. You have to make changes. You have to make sure things are, are feeling aligned with you, right? Uh-huh. Um, because you can grow and grow and grow and grow and say yes to everything. Like, yes, I wanna do this. Yes, I wanna do that. Yes, I wanna do that. And what happens, you go into like, major overload, right? And you're like, what was I thinking? Like, why would I take this on? (laughs) Why would I say yes to all this? You know? Um, So you have to make big decisions to like cut back and step back and all that stuff. Um, So it's extremely hard. And I feel like those, those big decisions that you have to come across really take a toll on you sometimes where you start second guessing yourself. Like, should I, should I be doing this? Should I not? Is this the right thing for me? Is this the right path for me? And you're always questioning, right? I started using cards, like tarot cards. Yeah. Yeah. And my husband's like, you're crazy. You're like a witch. And I'm like, no, like (laughs) I'm using them to guide me. Like I need guidance. Like I need help. Like you can't, you can't help me. So I turned to cards. Okay. (laughs) And guess what? I use them to guide me. I know like some people are into them and some people are not. I love them. Um, And I use them when I'm feeling kind of like, eh, like, I don't know what's going on. I just feel a little bit misaligned. Like something's a little off. You just know it in your gut. And I use things like that. I use my intuition and I I say, okay, like, you know, this is going to make me feel better and this might make me feel worse. So let's go this way. Right. Um, So again, like going back to those big decision makers, I think those are the biggest roadblocks. Yeah. I love that you shared that because you talked about being in alignment and using your intuition. And this is part of the thing that I run into with my clients. You know, they want the strategy and this is where I kind of find this is one of my roadblocks is because people want strategy all the time in business. And they think that strategy is important. Those tools are very, very important. But what will get you past those roadblocks to the level that you truly want to go is finding how do I tap into what my intuition more? How do I lean into my intuition more? How do I allow myself, my energy and my what I'm aligned with to guide me as to what I truly want to do or which way I truly, what's the right best decision for me. And we use the strategy, we use the tools to go along with that. But when we, when we know ourselves, when we know our purpose, our vision, our alignment, and we're in alignment so, so well, like the strategy won't matter because we're just going to go do and it ends up like playing itself out. Yeah. You do need strategy, especially when you're, when you're starting out trying to figure it out. And then when you get to certain levels, cause it's going to help you up level. But I think that one of the biggest tools we can lean into is that trust in ourselves, that intuition. 
Because we're all, we are all here for a bigger purpose. We're all here made for, made for more. And you realize that and you've stepped into it. And I love that you shared that you're, you're, you're tapping into that, you know, pulling out the cards. I bought cards too. I never thought I would buy cards and I, (laughs) I probably don't use them as often as I could, but like leaning in and tapping into like, who am I and what's, what works for me? Because everybody's every, you and you and there's you and other people have the same business, but the way that Mariana does it is going to work for Mariana. And then you're going to reach specific people, just like, you know, our friend Crystal, she's going to reach certain people. Like it's just leaning into that so, so much. Mm -hmm. And then also a good point where you just said, like, for example, let's bring Crystal into it. Um, She's also going into the OBM space, right? So rather than saying, oh my God, like they're doing the same thing as me and like pulling back from them and being afraid of them taking your, your clients or being in competition with you, like I've teamed up with her, right? I, I'm yeah. like relaxing each other like every day now. And it's like, and she just asked me today, hey, what program do you use to do X, Y, and Z? And I shared it with her. And then she shared something else with me for outsourcing. So don't see your your competitors as, as competitors like look at them as friends right someone you can really turn to when you have issues in your own business hey i'm doing something and it's not working for me or it's not working for one of my clients what do you do in this case like what programs do you use what systems do you use what processes do you use and let them help you yeah um yeah. and like you said like her maybe there's some people in her network that will never be for her and they might be better for me or maybe there's some people in my network that might not be a good fit for me that are a better fit for her so we can also refer each other business um so that also that's a huge thing in terms of growth yeah i think that is so so important and that is one of the best like abundant mindset hacks that you could have especially in the online space especially even more so right now because it's really really loud out there in the online space because of you know, 2020 and everybody's starting their own businesses and stepping more into that, that spot. What does it feel like for you? Or how do you know when you're actually aligned in your business and what you're creating? Uh, that's a good question. (laughs) When it feels good inside, right? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) When, when I don't feel like I am, um, doing like a tug of war, like an internal tug of war. And I can't, I can't even explain the feeling. Here's Crystal. She just texted you here. (laughs) Um, she's listening to us. Uh, but yeah, so I I always like, I feel it and I don't know if not, if everyone can right? some people, like you said, don't really tap into that tuition. So they they may not feel it. I physically feel it. Mm -hmm. I like, you know, my stomach gets nauseous. I just don't feel good. My energy gets low. I'm like, "Eh, I don't really feel like working like, and it's because there's something off because there's something with my energy that's off. And I ask myself, what is doing this to me, right? What is making me feel this way? What is, what is um, pulling my energy from me? Um, And I really sit down and try to hone in on what that thing is. And then I fix it. And once I fix it, it's like such a sigh of relief that that like, like tug of war, internal tug of war just becomes like non-existent, <laughs> right? Yeah. So, and it's really paying attention to your body. Like, you know what I mean? Your body's telling you. Yeah, <laughs> your is. body's really smart. <laughs> it, it is. It really is. And I'm glad that you answered that question and that I asked it because people want to know. They want to know the how-to. Again, they're, they're in strategy. Like, well, how do I know if I'm aligned or not? And I like what you shared because you're like, there's a difference between not being in alignment and then not wanting to do it just because you don't want to show up for yourself and do it. Right. Mm -hmm. There's a difference in that energy. And you, you actually know when you're in that space, if you're tapping into your, like, you know, if it's you just, this is not meaning calling you guys lazy or anything, but you know, if you're like, because you're scared or you're, you're, you're going into that fear place rather than it not being in alignment with yourself. Mm-hmm. A hundred percent. Yeah. Mm, I love that. So you're, you're OBM now and you're helping online and then you're also helping women start their own business. Yes. Mm-hmm. Why, how did you step into that space? Cause you started in the OBM. Talk a little bit about that. So I always go back to why I initially started. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, so like I said, I went into that initial coaching program um, with an idea of growing a network marketing business. Um, what happened was, is I ended up creating my mompreneur community. And initially the thought was, this is the route that I'm going to go to grow my network marketing business, right? Mm-hmm. I'm going to create my community of mompreneurs. I knew no matter what, I wanted to work with mompreneurs, right? Just because being a mom of three small kids, 
I got kids crashing my Zooms all the time, like in my videos, like it's just inevitable. Like I got to work with them, people who are like, will actually understand it. Yeah. Um, uh, real quick, you are, she is an amazing, like th- she has kids around all the time and I don't know how she does it. Like she's amazing <laughs> when it comes to that. <laughs> Thank you. I, kudos to you. <laughs> Thank you. So that's what happened. So I started that community and then what I realized was, you know, and again, this is maybe accidental, but I realized that there were needs out there, right? Where they started asking me, well, how do you do this? And how do you do that? And how do you use Instagram? And how do you use Facebook? And should I open a Facebook page or a Facebook group? Or how many hashtags should I use? So I'm like, hmm, I'm like, all right, this is weird. Like I started this for network marketing, but now all of a sudden I have all these people asking me these questions about like growing a business online, you know? So I'm like, well, how can I tap into this now? Because now this is what they're coming to me for, right? Um, so it's it's listening to your followers and what their needs were. So what what happened essentially was I just went out and started creating packages around like social media management, virtual assistance, like anything to generate income to start creating that life that I want. Mm. Now, was it necessarily the route that I wanted to go? Like, no, but I'm like, all right, this is an opportunity for me to generate income, to stay home, to not go back to work, right? And by the way, I was called back this week and I, I was able to say no. Yes. <laughs> so I was like a yes. huge, huge, huge like win for me, right? Yes. Um, and uh, what's it called? So I tapped into their needs and that's how it started. So it started as, out as like social media management, VA work and little by little over time, as I said yes to everything, because I'm like, yes, 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 I'll take all these, you know, packages on and, and um, jobs on, I started to recognize what I liked to do and what I didn't like to do. And it evolved. So it, it evolved eventually into online business management. And obviously, obviously, as I got the experience, and as I started to learn different systems and work with different people, I'm like, all right, well, this is my thing now, right? <laughs> um, so and now I still have my group, like I said, and I still help them. Um, I'm a, a good number of my clients are virtual assistants um, or going into that space as well, like online business managers, virtual assistants. But then I have a whole slew of other clients, like in my squirrel spot, I my, you know, my coaching program, my squirrels, I call them. <laughs> um, and, you know, my system works, right? It's tapping into your vision, you know, gaining clarity on what you do um, and um, being in the right mindset. That's important. That's a huge, huge, huge one because we can't grow a business and we're in if we're in a negative mindset, right? Yeah. We always have to stay positive because like you said, it's really tough out there. <laughs> it's a really tough space and you have to stay positive. Um, so those are the two things that I teach now is stay positive, tap into that clarity, um, know where you want to go and slowly and gently just push them into doing what they want to do um, to, to help them grow. I love that so, so much. I think that your program and I've seen the results. I've seen people been talking about it. You know, Jill, Jill shouts you out. Like I know, and, and knowing how you show up, like you were helping so many people with that because you started the basics. You really Mm -hmm. just started the basics. And some of the times we get in those programs where, and we don't know any better as, as new online, but we've been watching I, I know for me, like I watched people in the online space for a long time before I really st- stepped into it and they can't identify quite so much anymore because they've already, you know, they've got years under their belt and they're making millions of dollars, which is fabulous. You know, they're great mentors and role models, but they're not quite close to home. And I think when you're not quite close to home, you can kind of forget so- what it's truly like in the trenches when you're first starting out or when you're first building. So what yeah. you have and offer is so, so unique to that to that mompreneur who wants to start her business or who is like starting her business and is like, I'm not sure what the heck I'm doing. So I need some help. Yeah. And it's funny you say that because I was on a coaching call this morning with a client and she said that she was talking about my program to someone else and, you know, telling them how, you know, I went through all these other programs and I went with other coaches and I did this and I did that and I learned, but the one that I had the most growth in was Mariana's. Why? Because she brought everything back to the basics and she gave me the gentle push, like where I needed it. And she sped by the places that I didn't need it. Right. Like I didn't need to go over all that other crap that you learned (laughs) a hundred times in all the other programs that you did. Right. So I knew where to speed it up and I knew where to slow it down and I knew where to push her. Um, And guess what? And she hit her income goal. She That's is awesome. her income goal. She's making money now. Um, I just gave her another another income goal on top of that for, for our next visit. Um, so it's nice to actually see that I'm having that impact now um, to allow other mompreneurs. And like I said, 
Online business management is great and I hope to evolve it. And that is my plan to evolve it and have a team under me and all that fun stuff. Um, but in terms of true passion, when you say like your true purpose, like on this earth, like and having a true purpose for yourself and what you're doing, that's what it is. Helping those moms like who are, who are stuck, like who never, they used to have so much trouble in jobs, right? Like when my kids were sick, they weren't feeling good. Um, just taking care of them, right? Like they want to go to the park. They want to go here. They want to go there um, or they don't feel good or whatever. And I'm always like, well, I have to go to work. You know, <laughs> I have to go to work. I leave at, you know, 630 in the morning. And I used to come home like 637 at night, make dinner. You're so exhausted. You can't even watch TV with them, like nothing. And you just crash out, <laughs> you go to sleep and you wake up and you, you do like the same thing essentially all over again. When do you have time for your family? You don't, you know? Um, so I said like enough is enough and there are other ways out there. There are better ways out there and I'm going to find it. Yeah. I, I, I love what you do so much. And I think I love talking about this because this is what lights me up. This is what, you know, is, is the, the juice of it all. Like it's so cool because then you get to really see the transformations happen. You get to really see the growth. You're there when they celebrate that first income goal or that second income goal. And it's like, I didn't know that this was possible. I had spent so much time, like, and so much money and, and none of it coming back. That's a frustrating place to be. And so you're there. If every aunt, mompreneur went out there and she started with you, save herself so much headache and tears and frustration and overwhelm. Like, I truly, truly believe that like you're the place to, to start for, for them. Thank you. That means a lot to me. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I, I believe it. And, and I think uh, you're making such a huge difference and I'm so excited to continue to watch it evolve and to grow. And I'm grateful that we met and that we get to be on the journey together, right? Cause we're both yes. growing and we're both figuring it out as we go. And we get to cry and we get to have those, those roller coaster days and moments <laughs> and hours. And um, you know, that community piece is so, so vital for sure. A hundred percent. And I'm super, super happy to have you in my community as well and to grow with you. And like you said, it's, you know, the happiness and the tears, <laughs> you know, I don't always come on with the tears. I do say it, but I, I don't always like come on there and actually like cry. But, you know, there are days where I'm just like, oh my God, like, I don't know if I could do this. Right. <laughs> but thankfully that I'm in community with all of you. Like I have all of you, you know, essentially helping me back me up and give me that backbone to continue. And that's what we all need. Yeah. Yeah. A thousand, thousand percent. Is there anything else on your heart you want to share before we go? Um, the only thing I would say, if you have a dream to, or a longing to do something or to do something more with your life, don't ever think that it's too late. It's never too late. I don't care how old you are. I don't care how many kids you have. I don't care what your situation is. It's never too late to start. Um, I'm turning 40 next week or this week, actually on Friday. Okay. I have three small kids and I just started this past year. Like that did not stop me. Right. It's just once you have that window of opportunity, I think that's what a lot of people wait for. And that's the most difficult thing, right? Because we're so reliant on especially if you have a full-time job with steady income and steady benefits and all that, like it's really, really, really hard to jump out of that and to go into like the entrepreneurial space. But if you have one window of opportunity, take it, <laughs> take it and see where it goes so that you just, so you'll never have that. What if feeling? Mm. Cause I think that's like the worst, you know what I mean? You never want to turn around 10 years later and say, what if I started, you know, 10 years ago, what would happen? Where would I be? try it. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. At least you could say you tried. Yeah. Oh, I love that so, so much. Just go do it. Like sir, start. Don't wait. Don't wait. It's not worth it. And get out of the overthinking and consuming. And you need, you know, all that you need to know. And then you go find your guides like Mariana, like go find your guides to help you get where you want to go to actually get you into action. Um, mm -hmm. That's what you need. You don't need any more information. Trust me. I was there at one point. You don't need any more information for sure. So where can people find you, follow you, all the things? Uh, so you can follow me over on Instagram. It's Mariana with a J. So M-I-R-J-A-N-A -A, um, underscore. Oh, no, sorry. It's mommy underscore Mariana. <laughs> I'm like mixing up my own Instagram handle. <laughs> um, and then uh, my uh, Mompreneur Power Facebook community, obviously for mompreneurs. Uh, but if you're not a mompreneur, you're also welcome to join. I would never say no. Um, and you can find my website at mompreneurpower.com. 
Love it so, so much. Thank you so much for coming on, sharing your beautiful light with the audience and our listeners. Uh, I'm just so grateful for you. And I know you're going to be like, I cannot wait to see what this last of this year uh, holds for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you for having me here again. Absolutely. so much for listening and if you loved this episode and know of someone else who has a powerful story and are doing big things please pass them on to me it would mean the world to me if you helped me get this message out to as many listeners as I can so please if you liked what you heard it goes a long way to take 60 seconds leave me a five-star review and share this episode with a girlfriend Don't forget to tag me on social media. And if that's not your thing, shoot me a DM because I would like to personally thank you for doing so. We are not meant to do this life alone. And I'm so grateful to be on this journey with you. Until next time.